Hello, welcome to a little solo picnic on this sunny day. Vegan cheese and vegan pesto. So I spent the morning crocheting this top. Let me show it off real quick. A dark gray top with black straps. And the back looks like that. I like it. I like how the strap is so long. It almost looks like a dungaree. And then I found this little necklace with a shell. Can you see it? Okay. So someone suggested on my previous video that I make a learn haka with me focusing on nature and animals. So I'm gonna try to do that. I'll do my best. I'm positioning myself in nature, kind of. This is a park. If you hear lots of car noises, like there's just a street right in front of me. Let's start. Okay, so what do we see here? We see a patch of grass. So grass in Hakka is tau. Tau. So let me pull up some tau for you. You obviously know what tau looks like. And then we also have little bits of flowers. So a flower would be fa, fa. I don't know specifically what this flower is called even in English, but usually you would add like the name of this flower and then end it with fa. So let's say rose, roses, then roses would be moi gui. Roses would be moi gui fa. Moi gui fa. And I think there's this tea. Is it chrysanthemum or jasmine? One of those two is kyuk fa. Kyuk fa. So fa is a general word for flower, and then whatever you add before it would be the name for that flower, if that makes any sense. Okay. I have an extra bobby pin with me, if I can. Just pin it in place. Ooh, so cute. So we have grass, tau, and we have fa, and we have flower, fa. Behind me, there's a tree, and a tree in Hakka would be su, su. So you know how in English you have these words to specifically for certain nouns, for certain objects, like a sheet of paper, a school of fish. We also have that in Hakka. And for a tree, that would be yit. Yit is one. Yit po su. Yit po su. So po is kind of the... What do you call those type of words? It's not even an adjective. You know what I mean. Yit po su. Let's go to the leaves. Leaves of a tree, that would be yap. Yap. So you can also say su yap. Su yap. That would be literally tree leaves. Tree leaves. Okay. This is. <laughs> this is a su yap, but it's dried. So if it's dried, we can say. Gon, gon hoi, a su yap, gon hoi, a su yap. And some people like to decorate with dried flowers. I like to do that. Dried flowers would then be gon fa. Okay. And wood in Hakka is. Wood in Hakka is mok. Mok. Mok til. Mok is enough. Just say mok and people will understand it. But if you wanna say like, oh, give me a piece of wood, then you would say, give me a piece of mok til, mok til. But if you wanna describe and say that something is made out of wood, then you can say, he mok zoe. It's made out of wood. He mok zoe. And then let's say sand, sand. You know, like the grainy, earthy stuff. That is lai sa, lai sa. And if you only say lai, 
that would be correct me if I'm wrong that would be clay or soil soil uh scratch that I don't know I'm not too sure about that one okay and then water okay let's talk about the the elements of nature water is soy soy here I have some mangoes and mangoes would be mongo mongo this is interesting excuse me let me finish chewing so I said water is soy right a general term for fruits is soy go go is the general term for fruity stuff it's not always the case but it's often the case so with mango we say mongo mongo and listen carefully it sounds like mango mango mongo mongo <laughs> and for example apple would be pingo pingo what else do we have dragon fruit is folongo folongo but it, it's not always the case like not all fruits end with go let's say for example grapes grapes would be pu tao or pu tao zu pu tao so there's no go can you say pu tao go i don't think so but another thing i guess technically it's a fruit avocado is nyu yu go nyu yu go so i guess it's a fruit yeah so the go does make sense in avocado but the funny thing is nyu yu is actually cow's oil nyu yu so that means butter i guess avocado is smooth like butter so kind of makes sense but it's not made out of cows do we want to know more fruity stuff pingo mongo oh okay bananas bananas is um very short Jiao. Jiao. and some people would add hyong jiao hyong jiao hyong means fragrant smelling good um, but just saying jiao would be suffice do we have all the elements we have wood mok water sui fire fire is fo fo and this one is funny this is more like a expression we would say it has nothing to do with fire when something unfortunate happens you can say oh, c4 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 literally means dead fire so the flame has gone you can use this in a literal sense when your car is broken down or something like that then you can say I got ta c4 but you can also use it more in an expressive way when something bad happens like oh, see for or you forgot let's say you forgot to bring your keys with you when you leave the house then you can say oh, see for I'm getting a source here see for you know like oh shoot oh that's a bird did you see that that's a diao zai diao diao zai I know some people also say jok zai jok zai but I think that's more based on the Cantonese language because in Cantonese that would be jiao zai but I say diao zai so we have wood water fire and then earth the earth would be tu tu and then what else do we have air yeah air would be he he kong he kong he kong literally means empty and he means air oh a little butterfly Hi. other natural elements are let's say the sun so the sun is taiyo taiyo sunshine or sun rays would be yong gong yong gong what's this little insect doing here so when you want to say something is very light and bright then you can say how gong how gong so that's where the gong comes from and then when something is very dark like this part of my face the shadow then you can say how am how am the moon the moon would be nyet 
Nget and Nget, the same Chinese character, also means month. You know, like 12 months in a year is also Nget. So I find it interesting. Why would that be? Is it because the moon has a cycle of 28 days and a month is kind of almost 28 days? I have to do a bit of researching. So then we have the sun, the moon, stars. Stars, oh heavens, I haven't thought about this word in a long time. Stars in Hakka would be Sin Sin. Sin Sin. Ah, Akimanya Tutikon Sin Sin. Tonight I'm going out to look at stars. And you can also say, the stars look very bright. Then you can say, Sin Sin Hao Gong. Hao Gong. Yeah. So you can use the Gong not only for the sun, but also for the moon. Nyet Gong, but also for the stars. A sin sin hao gong, you know? Gong is just bright and kind of unrelated, but when someone is bald, like not having any hair, you would call them gong as well. Like gong tiu. Tiu is head. So a bald man, you can call him a gong tiu lao. It's not the nicest way of describing someone, but uh, Bald is gong tiu, the more you know. And I guess when you don't have any hair on your head, it's shiny and bright, so that's why it's gong. <laughs> I don't know. So I see some animals here. I'm not the best with animal names. Um, I made a video before talking about the 12 zodiac signs, the Chinese zodiac signs. Most or not all of them are animals, so I'll link it up here. Um, but yeah, like I saw a dog pass by. A dog is a kiu, kiu zai. What is butterfly again? Fu tiap. Oh yeah, fu tiap. Butterfly is fu tiap. And then there are probably lots of ants here on the ground. Ants in Hakka is li. Li. I remember my mom would always say, Ah, oh, how ya li ya. You seem say ya fun. You tap how gia. Wo ya li ya. So I used to live back home in Suriname and it's a tropical country. So it's like a perfect condition for ants. Um, if you just leave a food out, especially fruit, it will attract ants. And you would say, Yali. How Yali is attracting many ants. So you don't want that. That is just disgusting. Alright, I feel like this video is long enough. I've taught you quite a bit of Hakka words. Um, do let me know if you enjoyed it, if you want to learn more, or if you also speak Hakka. Um, do you say any of these words differently than I do? Let me know. Alright, I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye! Uh, what do I have to do?